Hey guys, Sean Lentz here from Appalachian DIY. Today what we're going to be doing is we're going to be putting down our sill plates. We're going to be measuring out um, for our anchor bolts to go through them and where the holes need to be. Alright guys, so what we're going to be doing here is this um, section right here in front of me is going to be one long board. It's probably, it is the longest board that we have um, that we're going to be doing. There are one, two, three, four anchor bolts that we need to measure for it along with an, an electrical um, placement as well. So we'll walk you through the process of how we are doing this. Um, so you guys know how to measure up for these anchor bolts because it can be confusing. There's a couple different techniques that you can use. I'll show you what I'm doing so you guys can follow along as well. So what we need to do is we are going to measure from the very edge all the way down to here. This is where our garage door is going to be. So this end of the board will be flush. However, that end down here, we're going to take a half inch off um, because we have 7 16 um, sheathing half inch it's going to get us just within i'm not worried about a sixteenth of an inch um, with all of the concrete on the side because it's kind of wobbly or whatever um, so we're just going to measure half inch um, to step in that way our sheathing will be flush right with the block um, if you guys are really worried about it you can measure right to seven sixteenths i don't think we're going to have an issue measuring half inch so that's what we're going to do here we're going to cut our board to length and then um, we'll set it up here and I'll show you guys what we're going to do with it next. All right, so what we have is we have our board set here and we have it measured in five inches evenly across the whole thing. We're not butting it up against our pins because our pins are not exact. Um, we do have it butted up against this. Um, but each end is even. So when we make measurements, it's even across the entire board. So what we're going to do now, we're going to take a speed square and we're going to take it on either side of this electrical thing. We're just going to mark it on either side. So now we know where this needs to be width wise um, and how much to take off of it. So the next thing we can do is we can measure from the edge into the first part here. We'll bring you in closer to that so you can see how that works out. Okay, so we have our two lines right here. We will measure in and see where the edge of this is. And we are right at three inches. Now remember, we need to step the sill plate back this way um, a half inch because we want our sheathing to be right up against and flush. So we're gonna take away half an inch. So it'll be two and a half inches that we're going to measure in from our thing. So two and a half brings it right there. So now we have it marked here where the edge of our pipe is going to be. So all we need to do is put a hole saw in here, have the edge of the hole saw in between our two lines and right to the edge of this. We don't really need to measure the center of it. You don't need that. As long as you have one that's the actual size of this, um, it's going to fit perfectly. You don't need to measure in and get the and measure into the uh, middle of it. I measure to the edge right to this. I mark it. I make sure my hole saw is within these two lines and that edge of that hole saw is right here. That works out perfectly for me. Um, we'll do that now. We'll cut this hole out um, and then we'll get back to how we measure for our studs right here. Okay, so right here you can see is our lines. Right here is the edge. So all I'm going to do is go ahead and take my drill bit, make sure it's between here, and just go straight down. Now as I go down through the wood, we're going to rock this in a very slow circle as we go down. It's going to help to keep the hole saw from binding up, give us a little playroom as we take it down. So my hole saw is not big enough to get all the way through. So what I'm gonna do is take a, just another drill bit and go down through here to make a hole on the bottom side. So we're gonna take a drill bit that's the same size, go right down through there, punch straight down through. 
So right here is our hole. So we can just go from this back side now. It's the same thing. We're gonna do a, just a slight circle as we go down through. So there you can see our plug. It's nice and even. Just have that little bit here all around the side where we went down through. So this plug is nice and straight the whole way through. What we're gonna do now is just take this down through, ream it out a little bit, and just get everything nice and cleaned up. Okay, what we're gonna do now is we are going to take our board and set it right on top of our electrical outlet. Okay, so what we do now is we set the board on here and we set it right on above the pins. Now what we can do is we can take our speed square, lay it down on our block, and we can measure in a half inch. So we're perfect right here. So what we're going to do is we typically do this on the ends of our boards. We go down to the far end, we measure in a half inch, go down to the opposite end and measure in a half inch. That sets our board across the entire face of this. Um, so that's what we're gonna do now. We'll just measure in half an inch on either side, but we also are aware of how our board is tilted. Okay, because that's really going to throw your measurements off. Make sure, um, we always put a level on here when we're down at the end to make sure it's not canted one way or the other, which will really throw off your measurements, especially when you're measuring something small like just half an inch for your sheathing. Okay, so we're down here at the far edge. We'll take a spot here. We'll make sure that there's no concrete um, bumped up above our ridge here or anything like that to throw our measurements off. We have our level on here. We're perfect. This is great right here. We'll go to the other end and do the same thing. Okay, we are perfect right here. So we got a good measurement here. We're at a half inch and we're at a half inch down there at our board. So what we're gonna do now is we're gonna go right here at our pin and just take a rubber mallet and give it a good whack right here. So what that's gonna do is it's gonna make a dimple in here. We're gonna do that to every pin. We're gonna double check as we go at every pin to make sure that the board didn't shift. Now what we're gonna do is now that those dimples are on our, our board, we can just take the board off. Lay the underside up. And right here, we'll get a close up. You guys can see the dimples on here. We're just gonna um, drill these things right out. All right, so right here, you can see the divot here from the pin. It's a nice, beautiful little circle. All we're gonna do is take our drill bit. These are half inch pins, our bolts, and we have a 5 8 inch drill bit because it allows you to do that for code for a little bit of play. So I have an Irwin drill bit. It has the screw that pulls the bit down into here. These are perfect for this. Just center this thing up. Now, what I do is I don't go all the way through. I allow this to pull it all the way through and this pierces the bottom or the actually the top side of the board, but I don't push it all the way home. Wait a little bit, do all of your holes, we'll flip it over, go from the top side and get it then. All right, so now all we need to do is flip the board. And as you can see right here, this is where it pierced through. Just has a little hole, we'll center that up. What that does is if we would punch through to the bottom side, you have the potential to tear all this out. It makes it look really ugly. It doesn't really matter that much, I guess, but I like to make it look a little better. So there's a nice clean hole. We'll just do that for the rest of them. All right, guys, so now that all of our holes are cut in here, all we need to do is just check to make sure that it fits right. So we'll just place it down over here, line up all of our holes. Perfect. There you go, guys. All right, so we'll show you a real simple one here. Um, we just butted this board up against here. We just did this long one here. Um, so this will fit down in between here. 
So we're gonna do the exact same thing. We don't need to do any type of measuring for this one at all, except for our inset for our sheathing. Okay, so we're perfect right here. Now this is only a two pin. So what we're gonna do is hold down here in the middle, hit right above our pin. I didn't even feel it move, so I'm not even gonna bother with measuring again. Hit again, there we go. There's that one, here's this one perfectly where we need it to be. This one, I didn't hit it square. It jumped a little bit and made a lighter impression, but the heavier one is where we need it to do. So we'll go ahead and drill these out. There we go, like a glove. So it's nice and set in there. Being able to move it around a little bit is nice too, because um, we need to be able to make these ends flush up. We can come back here a little bit. We're right on where we need to be. So this is great, um, nice easy way to make this thing fit in here really well. With that 5 8 drill bit, it's gonna be you uh, an eighth of an inch clay to be able to move it around um, either way. So, so there you go guys, it's super simple. Um, I like this method instead of measuring all these holes, setting the board back, measuring where this needs to go, measuring your inset, subtracting your half inch, all of that. You set the board up here, you measure back in for your inset or you measure it flush um, with your speed square, you pound each side and you're done. It's super quick and easy. Um, so if you don't have like the tool that sits here and will offset for your board to sit there and just smash it on there, there's those cool little tools out here. If you don't have one of those, all you need to do is this. Um, just measure on their sides, use your hammer, and then drill right out on that dimple that it makes. It makes it super simple. It's super quick and easy. Um, and that's the method that I prefer to use. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, make sure you hit that like button and head over to Appalachian DIY for more videos. Thanks again, guys, and I hope to see you next time.